Well, fellas, it looks like LG may have finally cracked the code to bringing the alleged perfect OLED technology to your home. That's right, we're talking about FOLED technology. Now, if you've never heard of this, this is phosphorescent OLED. And the reason why this is so exciting is that current OLEDs use a fluorescent blue emitting layer in the RGB, well, layers. And this actually unfortunately wastes around 75% of the energy into heat, which can lead to an increased risk of burn-in as well as just lower brightness capabilities out of the display. Now, this actually comes straight from Universal Display Corporation. And as you can see here, when they move to the phosphorescent layer, well, in theory, you would actually take 100% of that energy and put it right into light. That means no wasted heat, lower risk of burn-in, and much higher brightness capabilities out of OLEDs that will use this technology. And according to a FlatPanelsHD.com article, quote, LG Display has now verified the commercialization stage of blue FOLED panels, meaning that they are essentially ready for mass production. The company referred to this as the final step. Now, to be clear, it looks like they're gonna be actually having some sort of tandem structure where they combine fluorescent as well as phosphorescent layers to get the best of both worlds, as currently right now, a full phosphorescent layer would actually be slightly unstable from what I understand, so they're gonna have to combine them to give you that 15% lower power while still having the longevity and the stability that you would expect out of your OLED. And in theory, yes, this is gonna be the best technology that can possibly be produced. Now, you might be saying 15% lower power, that's not a big deal. However, I'm gonna explain to you just why this is gonna be basically nearly a perfect technology and why this is a far larger jump than you might be expecting. So first of all, I'm really excited about this because it's coming from LG. And why is that a big deal? Well, QD OLED, look, I love QD OLED and right now it is the best technology on the market in terms of the picture quality that it can put out. It absolutely smacks the cheeks in of LG W OLED when it comes to color performance. And it also leads to typically cleaner panels as well, meaning that QD OLED is generally gonna be a better technology, but it has one major issue that Samsung seems to be struggling to fix and that's the black levels in a bright room. Unfortunately, when you take a QD OLED and you put it in a bright room, well, it's gonna turn somewhat magenta and the black levels are gonna raise massively, which means your contrast is gonna go straight out the window. This effectively means QD OLED is a great technology in a dark room, but if you have any ambient light at all, you're gonna lose a massive amount of contrast, thereby somewhat defeating the purpose of OLED entirely. And so for all of you out there who can't completely control your lighting, you're gonna be excited because LG has effectively solved this problem with the LG G5. The LG G5, which is using their latest panel technology right now, and what is gonna be the building blocks effectively for the next generation of this tandem OLED technology coming out from LG, has a final layer that actually rejects incoming light and leads to near-perfect black levels in a bright room. Now, you're still gonna get reflections, but the contrast levels are gonna be absolutely unchallenged. Nobody can be LG in terms of contrast. So you throw in this new technology and things are about to change big time. Because first of all, what can you expect out of this new advancement? Well, you can expect very high brightness. And specifically, I'm gonna be talking about monitors, although a lot of this will translate to TVs as well. I'm starting with monitors because it sounds like this technology is gonna first debut in tablets and portable devices, and then move on to monitors shortly thereafter, and then finally make their way into TVs. So we're gonna focus in on monitors as that's gonna be coming in very soon, at least in theory, when you kind of read into their statements. Now, current LG OLED monitors have a lot of issues, and one of them is the brightness. Now, look, it's certainly gonna be, at least on paper, brighter than QD OLED, but you're talking about brightness of around 1300 nits in a one or 2% window, around 800 nits in a 10% window, and around 280 nits in a 100% window. And quite frankly, when you combine those numbers with the power limiting that they do on these monitors, you just can't get a great HDR image out of any of the OLED monitors I've seen thus far, at least in bright scenes. They just really, really struggle there. However, actually, there's two advancements coming to monitors. So first, you have to take into account the primary RGB tech that they first debuted on their TVs this year that is going to be coming to monitors. That's roughly going to be, at least in theory, a 50% jump in brightness overall. Then you lower the power by 15%, and you're talking about, at least in theory, a 73% 
20% increase in the maximum brightness achievable by these monitors. This means your 1% or 2% window could be over 2200 nits, your 10% window could be roughly 1400 nits, and your 100% window could reach almost 500 nits in that full screen. And that is a crazy advancement in terms of overall brightness and should finally allow monitors to reach brightness levels that are necessary to give you good HDR images in brighter scenes. And that's gonna be a huge deal, but the even larger deal should be the massive improvement in color you should be expecting out of these new monitors that hopefully will be coming out soon. That we'll talk about that in just a second. So first of all, current LG OLED monitors in HDR are going to be in the low 70 percentages when it comes to BT 2020 coverage. Now that's a big deal because the BT 2020 color space is the standard for HDR. You want to try and hit 100% to give the best HDR imagery possible. Around 70% is just nowhere near that level. Now QD OLEDs are actually close to 90%, but LG's current primary RGB tech should be closer to the low 80 percentages. That's already a pretty massive jump. However, it sounds like coming from notebook check, they might be ditching the white subpixel. Now that's a huge deal because that's gonna massively boost their color performance even further. In fact, between the primary RGB tech as well as ditching the white subpixel, you could probably expect somewhere around a high 80% or maybe even low 90% BT2020 coverage, which means they should be roughly on par, at least in theory, with Quantum Dot OLED technology. And then finally, ditching the white subpixel, at least in my opinion, should massively clean up the panel. This should pretty much all but solve the pink or green tinting that you might see off angle, as well as improve banding on gray screens and hopefully fix some color issues in dark scenes as well. Now, none of that is confirmed, but just based on what I know about the LG OLED technology, I do suspect that would be the case. So what we're talking about here is the cleanliness of a QD OLED, the color of a QD OLED, higher brightness than current QD OLEDs, and near perfect black levels even in a bright room. This would mean this technology, at least on paper, would effectively be nearly a perfect technology and a massive upgrade over current OLED monitors on the market today. Whether you're talking about LG or Samsung QD OLED, it would absolutely spank either one of them. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the first ones that should hopefully be coming out sometime between 2026 or at the very latest 2027. Now, the reason I say that is because, again, they will be starting off with mobile devices likely later this year. And then possibly by mid next year, you could see this tech make its way into their OLED monitors. Now they have already started bringing primary RGB into the monitor lineup. And later this year, you'll see that first on a 27 inch 1440p monitor, which is why if they choose to go that route first and then move on to FOLED on top of primary RGB, it may not happen in 2026. It may be 2027, but it depends on how aggressive Samsung gets, whether or not you see it next year or in 2027. But make sure you get subscribed for everything else display related here on the display guy. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And now RuPro is offering a new detachable and upgradable pure fiber cable that sends the same 48 gigabits per second signal through its ultra thin and flexible flexible housing, making it easier to route through walls. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.